A legal battle over the multi-million dollar estate of the late comedian Sammy Davis Jr. has been resolved. A do-it-yourself will helps settle a legal dispute over the rights to the estate of one of America's greatest entertainers. At issue, the intent of the will left by the widow of Sammy Davis Jr. CBS 2's Juan Fernandez is live in the newsroom where he spoke to the late entertainer's son, Juan. Well, Paul, we can all learn from this one. This is a case where it was clear what Sammy Davis Jr.'s widow wanted, despite what others may have had her agree to in the past. A judge sided with the family, and now the legacy of Davis Jr. is back in his family's control. We are here at the Hollywood Walk of Fame, right here at Sammy Davis Jr.'s star. Now, this is a story about a multi-million dollar estate, a battle over two very different wills, and who would control the legacy of Sammy Davis Jr.? Get the start of the blues. Sammy Davis Jr. was a giant in Hollywood, a member of the infamous Rat Pack, an award-winning singer, dancer, and actor. It's been 20 years since his death, and the fight over his multi-million dollar estate may finally be over, thanks to, of all things, this website. When Davis Jr. died in 1990 from cancer, his estate went to his wife, Altaviz. According to court testimony, Mrs. Davis fell under the influence of two businessmen who deceived her to gain partial control of the Davis legacy. Two gentlemen approached her and told her that they could help her with managing the affairs of the estate, um, and she trusted them. She made the bad decision to trust them. Family attorney Olu Orange says by 2004 she had made a will and left everything to the two men. But then she changed her mind and wanted to leave it all to the son she and Sammy Davis Jr. adopted as a young boy. Did you know Sammy Davis Jr. had a son? He did. Meet Manny Davis, adopted by Sammy Davis Jr. and his wife, Altaviz. It was hard going to restaurants or going to any place with him because I could barely keep my eyes open. You walk out of the door and then the shut of the cameras just, you know, keep you like this all day. Even after getting adopted, I was still in awe. There I could walk to the kitchen and he's there. I'm sitting here like, still like feeling like a fan. When his mother died, Manny found out that the two men had an expensive will drafted by an attorney, notarized three times that said Sammy Davis Jr.'s estate was theirs. But Manny had a will that his mother made only a year before she died. She paid $100 for it on LegalZoom.com, and it said the multi-million dollar estate was all his. Davis just won a long court battle in which he finally inherited the rights to his father's recordings, to his records, and to his name and likeness the legacy of a great entertainer. In court, probate judge Reva Goetz ruled, I think that full weight should be given to the document as an expression of Mrs. Davis's intent with regard to her estate and what she wanted to happen to it. At the end of the trial in this case, the judge very clearly found that the LegalZoom.com will accurately and adequately uh, conveyed what Mrs. Davis and Mrs. Davis's intent was. It basically took away all the power from the people that did her wrong and my, my father's legacy wrong. He worked so hard in his life that I'm pretty sure he'd be upset if he were alive today to see how his estate's been handled by these people. And now he says he has to keep the family legacy alive. It's more than I could ever even fathom. He has, the world loves him. That's, that's, that's a special guy right there. And it's only because of the fans and good friends that he made throughout his life, him and my mother that I'm here today. Sammy Davis Jr. had three other children. Tonight, Manny Davis told me he would like to get the whole family involved in bringing his dad back into the spotlight. Now that the estate is in his hands, he can start planning for the future. Live in the newsroom, I'm Juan Fernandez, CBS 2 News. Sammy's son, Manny, urged us all to sing and dance. And to all the fans around the world, I want to say thank you. And from my father to you all, I want to say keep dancing as if no one and everybody's watching. Thank you for keeping my dad's legacy alive.